Welcome back. Should you invest and subscribe to the Daily Wire subscription? What is the Daily Wire? The Daily Wire is a conservative uh, channel, and they there are they have several um, people who are under their talent and under their umbrella. You have Ben Shapiro, Michael Knowles, Candace Owens, Brett Cooper, and so. Jeremy Boring and Ben Shapiro are owners of that. And I think they have some silent partners. I don't know. I, I would imagine. So and they're blowing up more and more and more and more. Um, Gillette did that commercial. If you remember, it got some controversy a year, year and a half ago about, you know, all this gender stuff when it was coming out and Jeremy came out, uh, Jeremy Boring came out and said, Hey, now there's Jeremy's razors, genius marketing ads, so on and so forth. Um, Hershey just came out with the whole transgender thing, Hershey, and Jeremy came out and Daily Wire came out with the Jeremy's chocolates. Uh, <laughs> and it's pretty if you haven't seen the uh, the commercial for it, it's pretty hilarious. I'll we'll link that as well. But uh, should you subscribe to uh, Daily Wire? It is conservative. It is a conservative news source and content uh, creation. Um, and they're growing and growing and growing. They partnered with the likes of uh, Jordan Peterson, Dennis Prager with Prager U, um, and so many others. Um, and so, yeah, I think it. Do I think so? The, the short answer is yes. Um, I I have they have different subscription plans. I'll go through that with you real quick. Um, I don't get paid for this. Obviously, you know this. Um, but they have the Insider Plus, which is twelve dollars um, a month, billed annually. So $144 for the year. They have all access, $20 a month, billed annually. Um, and then they have the Insider, which is billed monthly, $14 a month, meaning it's just the monthly plan month to month. Uh, I paid for the yearly. For the annual, I just paid one, one fee. I think I've only been on there probably four or five times because I'm... I absorb a lot of content. Um, and like, for instance, like their shows... Uh, like Ben Shapiro does a three hour special, but you can only get the one hour on YouTube. Um, I only tend to listen to the one hour on YouTube and probably three days a week because I don't have time to listen three hours of Ben Shapiro, uh, five days a week. I think plus I'd probably go insane. Um, but I get what I need. Um, but that's not why I did it. And that's not why you should do it either. Now I did go on there because, uh, Jordan Peterson had a series that was really interested in the dragon series, which was really good. Um, he's also done the Exodus series, which I've listened bits and pieces of that. It's really good. Um, his analysis on um, biblical context. I've that I've heard him talk about is more in depth than some pastors that I've heard that have been pastors for three decades. So, um, but it is really good. And, but the reason I do it is because it's a conservative platform. And my, one of my greatest pet peeves is being told what I have to think and what I have to believe and on and on. And so I've really pushed out, uh, outside sources, uh, the mainstream media. I don't listen to CNN or watch them. I used to Fox news, not anymore. I know Tucker Carlson has a huge following, but even then I, I'm just done with all of it. Um, plus I'm done with anything that has commercials. I don't have time for commercials anymore. Um, I haven't had cable or anything like that seven years. So I'm done. I'm done with commercials. Um, it's worth me spending the money to not after have to ever listen to a commercial ever again. So I have pretty much every streaming platform there is available because of that specific reason. But also I give my money to conservative causes because I am a conservative, but I also give my money to causes that are not going to tell me what I have to think are not going to tell me what I have to believe because it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I like Matt Walsh on there and I like Candace. I like them all on there. I don't listen to them. I'm not like blind followers or anything like that, but I like bits and pieces of what they all say. Some of their, um, their analysis of current events are okay. Um, I mean, I think some of these things, I think a lot of the stuff that they talk about in regards to current event, uh, current events don't matter. I think on one hand, it's like, why, why are we giving credence and airtime to these 
mundane, stupid things and people that have no bearing on the vast majority of American lives. So on one hand, they'll say that. But on the other hand, they'll cover it. So it's like, what is it? So I think that sometimes they and I get the the culture thing because you'll you'll hear that they often talk about you have to win culture, the culture battle, which I do agree with. I just think sometimes they go about it the wrong way. What do I know? I'm not an expert. Um, I'm just a normal guy. And so, but I tune that stuff out because it doesn't matter to me when CNN or Fox says it. And so it's definitely not going to matter to me if Ben Shapiro or Candace Owens said it. I, I just don't care. And I don't think you do either. So anyways, um, in regards to that, I think it's definitely something that you should look at. Um, I don't think $12 a month is actually that much. Um, and I think the content that you're getting on there is actually really, really good. They have their own movies. They're starting to buy movies. Um, I can show you what that uh, looks like. Um, so this is what the app looks like. Um, and it just has just like a standard app. Um, and it has different things on there. Um, what makes a man from that's a new series from, uh, with the, that's one of the part of the series of, uh, dragons, monsters, and men that, uh, Jordan Peterson did. And it was, it's really, really good. Um, but the, the app is really well, uh, put together, laid out, has some children content that they're going to come. They have movies on there. Um, what is a woman? The documentary that, uh, Matt Walsh did was phenomenal. Uh, he didn't, you didn't know what anything, uh, his take on anything. He just, all he did was ask questions, but the way that documentary was done was brilliant and it got a lot of steam and I believe it got them a lot of subscribers as well. So good for them. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Other than that, uh, I think it's worth every penny. I think as they get more and more content and they get uh, more and more movies, I think it's going to get better and better and better and better and better. Um, so I definitely think that's something you should look at. And I definitely think if you are conservative or even if not, if you don't want to be brainwashed by all the mainstream media, it's good to get another opinion. They have some people on there that make sense, are articulate and are clear minded. So I would encourage you uh, to look into that. And there's another subscription platform I'm going to talk to you about next time. Um, and and so, but as of right now, uh, that's all I have to say. So take a look at Daily Wire. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel because it's free still. Um, so, and like, share, and uh, we'll see you next time.